Little Silver Foxes to the iCloud.com numbers video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a basic spreadsheet so that you can keep track of your grocery costs, your travel costs, anything related to your financial life. And I'm going to show you how to keep track of your retirement savings, um, your investments, stuff like that on your personal computer. Great, if you're not there on iCloud.com, please head on over to iCloud.com. Um, I will give you 1.5 seconds to get there. Are you there yet? Good. So um, when you're on iCloud.com uh, and log in, head on over to the green icon called Numbers. You'll see a bunch of bar graphs. Now you'll be taken to this screen when you click on it. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a basic spreadsheet here. So click on this big old plus sign. You'll see that there's a lot of templates here. You have blanks, you have checklists, you have personal budgets, personal savings, net worth charts, retirement savings, loan comparison charts, mortgage calculators, oh my god. Um, this is a great uh, app for all your practical uses, really, um, to keep track of your numbers. It really lives up to its name. Now let's just go basic. Let's go to blank. Double click, click on blank. Um, you'll be taken up to a separate screen pop up. Do not be scared. This is what it's supposed to do. So um, if you're not already there, you should see a bunch of tables and graphs. So basically a spreadsheet is a built-in calculator for your computer, except that you can type words and things so that you can organize it and know what's going on. Now let's make a very, very simple grocery list. So double click on cell 1A or A1 and then let's put items. Say that you're grocery shopping, right? So let's go with um, apples, oranges, uh, pineapples, um, eggs, milk, rice, things that I don't really shop for because my landlady takes care of all my food. <laughs> so, okay, let's go to B1 to show cost. So, here's what cost is. Let's say we're in New York City. Five bucks for an apple. Um, oranges, three bucks. Pineapple, four. Eggs, I don't, I don't even know how much these things cost anymore. Uh, rice, ten. Alright, so, now that you have a running tally, you can write another column called total. Now, I don't really like math, so I'm just going to make the computer do my work. So I typed in parentheses to let the computer know, hey, I'm going to do something. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? I'm going to be doing something called a formula. So this is an equal sign telling the computer, hey, what follows is a bunch of calculations. Um, and I'll do a parenthesis just to let it know here's what's going to follow. So the way the computer knows is really dumb. Um, it will know when you locate the cell. So apples, the cost of apples is B2, right? Row 2, column B. So I'm going to write B2. And notice that the blue matches the cell here. And then I'm going to add up B3, orange. Ironic, orange is highlighted with orange. Um, and then in the same logic, add B4. Just basically all these things are in column B. All you have to do is add the number right next to it. So when I'm done, I see that, yeah, it's pretty much done. I click on the check sign. Boom, it's $27. I spent $27 on basic necessities. Not bad. So this is really how you use a spreadsheet. Now, before you say, oh, Lee, this is really dumb, I could have just added in my head. Great. Great. If you are great at math, good. But this is just a very simple formula. If, as you get more complex in your formulas, you will thank Jesus that you actually have a spreadsheet program. Because there's when it comes to division and all these things, the computers can do much, much faster. And if you mess up on one... Say if you mess up on one of these calculations, your whole calculation will be off. But as long as your formula is correct, you will be fine. Great. Now that you know basic spreadsheets, I want to show you some other things on this feature, like personal finance, personal savings. 
I really want to help you look at retirement savings because as a digital silver fox, we do worry about you know our financial features. So if you really want to be very ambitious, you can create charts out of data right here, right? You can look at exactly what you're saving to put towards your retirement and you can see that you can make a table out of it. You can even be ambitious and make a graph out of it. I just want you to know that you can keep track of your own personal finances no matter what age and especially because you know you're a digital silver fox. You need to make sure that you are in charge of your own finances. It's part of being a fox, being smart, saving for the future. So if you have any other things that you want to record, you should probably record it down on your own personal computer um, just because it's a good way to back up your data and also it's a great way for you to know that you're actually securing your financial future. All right, my little banker pitch is over. Hope you learn how to use a spreadsheet today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.